Hello, today we're going to be going over how to set up the CAD Solus pump. Now, the CAD Solus pump is a battery operated pump. So the first thing you want to do when you have your CAD Solus pump, load your batteries into the pump by simply opening the battery door that's going to be found on the top of your pump, turn the knob, okay, and go ahead and open it. Now, with the CAD Solus pump, it requires four AA batteries. So you want to go ahead and load those AA batteries into the pump like so. Once the batteries have been loaded, you want to go ahead and shut the door and then turn the knob. Now the next step to setting up your CAD Solus pump is by attaching the cassette tubing to the pump. After you've punctured your bag of medication, you want to go ahead and grab the cassette. This blue piece can be removed and thrown away. Now on the side of your CAD Solus pump is a lever. You want to go ahead and bring that lever down. You'll also find on the bottom of your CAD Solus pump are two hinges. Okay. Now on the cassette itself, you, there are two hooks. So you want to attach the hooks to the hinges that are found on the bottom of the pump. Okay. Press down. Then you'll bring the lever back up just like that. And that is how you attach the cassette tubing to the pump. After you have attached the cassette tubing to the pump, you want to go ahead and power your pump on. Now the power button can be found on the side of the pump and you want to go ahead and just press that so that the pump can be powered on. After you've powered your pump on, the next step is then priming the tubing. Now, to prime your tubing, what you'll do is you'll go to this tasks button right here, okay? Using the keypad, you will scroll down to where it says prime tubing and click select. Now, making sure that the tubing is disconnected from your patient, you want to go ahead and then press prime. The pump automatically primes your tubing. And the main thing here when you are priming your tubing is looking for dripping at the end of your tubing. Once you see that medication is dripping at the end of your tubing, you're gonna go ahead and stop priming by hitting the stop priming button, okay? It'll give you a message asking you if you wanna continue priming. Now, if you do not see medication dripping at the end of your tubing, you want to go ahead and continue priming. But if you see that there is medication dripping at the end of your tubing, then you want to go ahead and stop priming by pressing no. After you finish priming, you want to go ahead and then go back to that home screen so we're able to start our infusion. So to go back to the home screen, you want to go ahead and press back and it'll take you back to the home screen. Now the last step to setting up your CAD Solus pump is simply by starting the infusion. So once you've hooked your medication up to your patient, you wanna go ahead and start the infusion. Now to start the infusion, what you're gonna do is press that stop and start button that's found on your pump. Once you press the stop and start button that's found on your pump, it'll give you a message asking you to start pump question mark. You wanna go ahead and press yes. What you'll find is that this bar right here that was once red is now green. When you see that the bar is green, it means that you're getting the infusion. And that is how you set up the CAD Solus pump. Thank you.